In this lesson, we're gonna set up iTunes to be your music library management app. Though some DJs prefer to just use Virtual DJ alone to manage the music library, using iTunes in tandem with Virtual DJ is one of the best ways to keep your library organized, and I'll explain why later in this lesson. I'll show you which settings to turn on and to turn off in order to get the most of it. Let's go! iTunes is the best app to organize your music because it's an all-in-one solution. You can sort and edit your tracks, create playlists, and keep them organized within folders. Plus, you can even purchase music in the iTunes Store. The best reason to use it, though, is because iTunes can be set to automatically make a copy of and to organize all your music files within a single folder, known as an iTunes Media Folder. That means you will no longer have MP3s littered around your hard drive's downloads folder or your desktop that may be accidentally deleted. Before you go on with this video, make sure that you've got iTunes installed on your computer. If not, download it on the iTunes site via this link. Okay, so in order to use iTunes in our DJing, we need to turn on some features that are useful to us and turn off those that aren't. Let's fire up iTunes. I'm going to find that in the Applications folder or in Desktop. Here we are. Now, go to Preferences or Options if you're in a PC. Now, click the General tab and make sure that you've got Star Ratings ticked. At the moment, it's not, so I'm going to click on the box to enable it. This lets you rate a track by energy level. For example, one star is a soothing ambient soundscape, while five stars is an all-out belter. Now, I know the way that we use star ratings here is a bit unusual, but there's a good reason for that. You should keep your DJ music library lean and mean, meaning you should believe that every track in it is awesome. So having one to five star ratings is unnecessary since they're all gonna be good tracks anyway. And the ratings can be better used for energy levels because ultimately it makes it easier for you to pick songs to play during DJ sets. For example, you can warm up the dance floor with tracks that have fewer stars than peak time bangers that have five stars. Now go to the advanced tab and make sure that Keep iTunes Media Folder Organized is not ticked. It should not have a check mark here in the box. If it's not ticked, this tells iTunes not to add any destructive file rename in folder adding, which we don't want. What you do want to be ticked, though, is the copy files to iTunes Media Folder when adding to library. This basically gives you the single large folder with all your tunes that we were talking about earlier. You'll also want Share iTunes Library XML with other applications to be ticked. This allows other software like Virtual DJ to read your iTunes library. If this is not ticked, you won't see your iTunes library within Virtual DJ. So once you've made those changes, just click OK and you're ready to use iTunes. Now I want you to go and make those settings changes in your own copy of iTunes. And in the next lesson, I'll show you how to create playlists both in iTunes and in Virtual DJ. That way you can choose and use whichever music management method you prefer. I'll see you then.